Hello, I'm Kate Ellis and welcome to my writing room. Uh, I'm the author of the Wesley Peterson series, uh, the Joe Plantagenet series and the Albert Lincoln trilogy, the third of which will be out in November. Uh, I had the honour last, uh, last November to be awarded the Crime Writers Association Dagger in the Library, which uh, was a great honour and I was absolutely thrilled. And I love supporting libraries and getting out and meeting readers. I, that's one thing I'm really missing in the lockdown. Uh, my latest books are, uh, the pa latest paperback is Dead Man's Lane, and the latest hardback is The Burial Circle. And uh, they, these are both Wesley Peterson books, and uh, this one will be out in paperback in October. I actually have a very tenuous relationship with that great crime writer, Agatha Christie, because I live in the village of Cheadle in Cheshire, which was the home to Agatha Christie's elder sister, Madge. And uh, Agatha was a very regular visitor to Cheadle, and uh, a lot said that a lot of her books, um, a lot of the big country houses in her books are based on Madge's home, Abney Hall. I'm a regular visitor to Abney Hall grounds and uh, lovely grounds and uh, you know I can uh, feel the spirit of Agatha when I, uh, when I go walking there. Now my work in progress, the, um, the book I'm right, working on at the moment uh, is this. This is the first draft of, a, of uh, my latest Wesley Peterson book. It's called The Butterfly Cage, that's the working title. Well, Wesley Peterson books um, are set in the present day, the present day uh, detective stories. I often describe them as uh, Inspector Morse meets Time Team because in every book there's a historical mystery going on in the background, which is usually introduced by archaeology. Um, I'm quite uh, keen on uh, going on digs myself, I'm a member of an archaeology group. But the being, introducing a historical aspect, of course, means a lot of research. So for this one, I'm researching the Wars of the Roses, uh, Paston letters um, in the uh, 15th century, deserted medieval villages, archaeological techniques. And I have, this, this used to be my younger son's bedroom, but I took it over when he... Uh, when he moved out. So I have a lot of reference books um, which I keep and uh, dip into every so often. And as well as historical reference books, of course, I need forensic reference books. And this one is fantastic. It's called The Crime Writer's Handbook, 65 Ways to Kill Your Victim in Print. So I'll just um, move to another location. I use this room uh, during the winter and the uh, spring and autumn, but in the summer I like to write somewhere else. Welcome to my writing shed at the bottom of the garden. I love working in here because I can see all the greenery and all the trees and it's nice and peaceful. Um, I'll probably bring my laptop down here later on because it's a nice day and it'll be warm enough. Um, this is the table I've known since childhood, since I was a baby and it used to be in my parents' house. And uh, I used to do my homework on here but now I write my books. Before I go, as for what I'm reading myself during lockdown, I can thoroughly recommend uh, these Crooked Herring by L.C. Tyler. They're about a hapless author and his uh, rather fierce agent. Um, I've read all the Herring books and I can thoroughly recommend them. They're light-hearted and they cheer you up no end. Thank you.